This is a bonus uh, Daisy video for those in the community page. I am going to be using the large Daisy stamp set again and I wanted to showcase one of the things that we can make with that. So once again I'm going to be bringing in my Stamparatus to help me create this card. So I'm going to slide in the one of the doors and what I need to do is place under um, some support here. So what I'm going to do is put on the card. So this is um, a basic white. I'm just going to touch this in here. Okay. And I'm going to lay the daisy image on top of the basic white. So the sticky sided up. I'm going to close the hinge and pick up that stamp set. What we're going to do this time is we are going to, instead of using Memento Black, we're going to go again with the basic gray. I think that adds a really nice color. And let us ink up very well the Daisy stamp set. Okay. Um, normally you can use a large block F, but I prefer to use the Stamparatus on such a large image. So I'm going to press down. Put pressure all the way around the stamp, lift it up and see if I've missed any areas. I have a couple here and there. So once again, ink it up, close it up. That's the great thing about the Stamparatus. You can ink where you've missed. Saves time, saves paper, saves ink. Look at that, perfectly done. Okay, so what I'm going to do next is... I'm going to actually just take this hinge off and I'm going to use the Stamparatus itself uh, to keep these in place. Now what I have done is we are going to be using some blending brushes. Okay, I love these. And I've kind of cut out a little template on a um, just a little sheet. So what I'm going to do is place the magnets on top and we're going to use some of the colors that are very light and use on the blending brushes. So you'll notice that I have some that are different colors, greens. I try and keep those ones um, off separate. So I'm going to be using a similar, like an orange. So I'm just going to grab the one with the orange on the blending brush. So I'm going to be using two or three different colors. All right, so got that all nicely laid out, nice and secure. Oh, and I'm going to grab some ink and kind of go in a little circle, starting off the page. And going in little circles. Now, I did use a large piece of uh, basic white, so I will be cut down. I'm going to lift these. Make sure your magnets don't touch. I'm going to lift that up and I'm going to move it to a different spot. So I'm going to put the magnets back down. And this time we're going to use a purple. So I need to grab my purple brush. And I'm going to use some fresh freesia. Ink it up a little bit. Oops. Off on the paper. and in little circles. It doesn't look like much, but it really does add some color to the page. Okay, I'm gonna little circles, add that in. I am going off the page, and like I said, I will be cutting this down. Okay, so we've got our purple, we've done our orange, and let us have a little bit of green. So I want to have another color in here and I'm going to use the soft sea foam. Okay. And I'm going to pick up some ink off on the side. Okay, and in little circles. I could make this darker if I wanted to. Okay. And I might actually add one more color for the right side. I love the blending brushes because they are not, they don't give very harsh um, color changes and stuff like that. So they look really, really pretty. So I got one, two, three. Let's add one more color up into here. Or actually maybe up into here like this. 
and let us go with something slightly darker. Um, let's go with the polished pink. Okay. And I'm going to go again with the purple blending brush off on the side. See how it looks. Take some of that ink off, actually, and hold it down. I'm going to add a little bit. I don't want it really dark because this is a, a darker color than the other ones I'm using. Okay. I love blending brushes. They are really, I'm glad they came out with them. They look really, really pretty. So let's lift this off. I'm going to keep this for later. Oh, it looks very cool. Um, personally, I think I'm going to add maybe just one more just off to the side. Let's see how that goes. And we'll go with the green again. We'll try and replicate the green. And uh, put it back in. You really can't go wrong with any of the colors or what you design because card making is all about personal preference, showing your creativity. So you really can't go wrong. So I'm going to go off and add a little bit more. Whoop, come on. There we go. Looks great. Love it. Okay. And what we're going to do is we're going to cut this down, close this up so it doesn't dry out, put the magnets away from each other. Hey, that looks like kind of a yellowy green. Oh, that looks great. That's not what I was hoping, thinking of, but looks fantastic, don't you think? Okay, let's cut this down to a card size of four by five and one quarter. Okay, so I'm going to cut this down. Oops, sorry, a little off the screen. And down to a four. I don't know which side I want to cut off. Oh my goodness, there's, it's so pretty on all the sides. I want them all to show. All right. All right, there we go. Looks like it's going to have to be on this side. Okay, so it's all cut down now. Now, I'm going to bring in the two different color card bases. I'm not sure which one I wanted, so we can do the purple, the uh, Fresh Freesia, which I don't think seems to... That, or... What if we did that? Oh, that actually looks really nice. And then I could mount it on the Fresh Freesia. See? Yeah, I think I like that. I'm going to take it down a little smidgen more so there's more view of the card mat and take it off of this side. Okay. I like how it um, was framed with the color so we'll add a little bit of adhesive. Place that on the card base. Okay, got to make sure it's the right size. A little large, so let's cut that down. Okay. There we go. Oh, looks a little... Apparently I didn't measure that right. Got to do all parts. There we go. Add that on there. Now, I might want to add some ribbon. But the reason I left it like this is so I can add my super duper cute little bumblebees at the end of each of these little um, spots of color. Look at that. Okay, and now I have my little bumblebees set down. I'm going to add them with some mini glue dots. Whoops, where are they? Okay, pick them off and I'm just going to add the little glue dots to the back of the, my little bumblebees and place them on the color. Very simple. These guys are so super duper cute. I think these are one of my favorite embellishments in the the new annual catalog. They are so cute. And make this one go that way. Got that 
one go this way. Don't want all our bees going the same way. Okay. And let's get a piece of ribbon and see how that is going to look for us. One of my favorite colors, pale papaya. We'll add that on around here. And this is a portion where we would put our sentiment. I'm not going to add a sentiment at the moment because I like to have a few cards set aside that have no sentiments at all so that later when there's something that I need, I can always add it in. Let's make our little shoelace. And add it to the card base. So darn cute. So simple with just one stamp. Absolutely fantastic. Oh, I'm going to actually fold this over so I'll make sure I have it in the right spot. Take that away. Don't forget, if you have any questions or if there's anything you would like, just drop me an email at northernstamper at gmail.com. I'm happy, happy, happy to help you out. Okay, there we go. Tidy up our little rib in there. There we go. What do you think? Ta-da! Just a little bit of color and some bubbly bees.